All right, greetings pre-calculus students. This is week five and uh, from sunny Michigan here. I'm on vacation, but I'm not the least bit bitter that I'm gonna be recording some tutorial videos for you because it's, it's that important, right? So we are gonna get ready for a series. So we have sequences, which are the lists of numbers with the pattern you should know about. And then series is, you know, uh, where we add things up and then we get another, another list, okay? So you should have learned in Algebra 1 about arithmetic, arithmetic or arithmetic sequences, geometric sequences. So let's do, we can want arithmetic is like uh, linear, geometric is exponential. You can think about it like that and uh, you will go far. Okay, arithmetic has a common difference and geometric has a common ratio. So if we wanna find the fourth term in the sequence, and that means that n equals four, so I'm just gonna do four minus six, four minus one, and then that would be four minus six times three, four minus 18, negative 14, Let's see, did I get it? I got it. Fourth team is the fourth, so you can do that. That one's going to be exponential. You got it. Second term in the sequence, sequence is plug in. If it was the first term, it'd be negative 20. But if it's the second term, you just plug in n right there and you'll get it. No worries. Third term, these are. I mean, it's going to be a simple one, but still go for it. I've got you started. Okay. Quiz one done. So after that, uh, that week of trigonometric, this is a nice, gentle assignment, at least so far. Quiz two. Let's see what quiz two has to offer. So now we have recursive. What does, so we have uh, explicit formulas where we can just give a formula and we can generate every term in the sequence. And then we have recursive. That means you have to know the term before it. It's a, it's a weird sequence where it's like, well here, if you know the term before you can get the next one. And um, so complete the recursive formula for this one. So what are we doing? What is the first term of this sequence? We have the explicit formula here. So let's go ahead and substitute in one. So negative 91 times negative one seventh to the one minus one would be zero. So that just makes this one. So that makes negative 91 the first term. And how are you going to get every other term? You are going to multiply it by negative one seven, because that is the common ratio. Hey, still got it. Okay, so geometric sequence, that means we are taking subsequent terms and dividing them. Uh, and the first term is 500, as we can see. And so the common ratio, we can take any two terms if we know it's geometric. So I'll just take the first two, 200 over 500. But of course we don't need to leave it unsimplified. I mean, free calculus. What are, what are we elementary school students? Okay, uh, the first term, if I substitute in one, that would be negative 13 times one or negative 13. What are we adding each time? We are adding, are we adding 13? We're adding, uh, yeah, we're adding negative 13. Oh. Okay, Olivia reads read a book. She started on page 20 and each minute she read three pages. Let G of N be the page Olivia was on at the beginning of the nth minute. G is a sequence, what kind of sequence? 
She's reading three pages each minute. That is not geometric. That is very arithmetic because there's a common difference. You subtract any of the uh, terms in the sequence, you would get three because she's reading. It's an increase of three. She started on page 20, that's our Y intercept. And she read three pages each minute. N is our independent variable. Oh my. All right, let's find out what I did. Okay, I know I was close. Okay, so we got, got the first one is 20. But then, 20 plus three, plus three plus three. So I said, oh, okay, all right. All right, you know what I did wrong. You ready for this? So the one difference between linear functions and arithmetic sequences is that we have to consider our sequences for the next term. So we gotta multiply uh, three by not n but n minus one because this way we will start with 20 rather than starting with uh, yeah because you have to plug in one for the sequence you don't plug in zero right in the in the linear functions we plug in zero and that's our first term but in sequences we start with one so we can't uh, start with one and then we'd be on page 23. So anyway, what does that mean for us practically? That means we have to distribute and simplify. 3n minus 3. And so we get 3n plus 17. So let's see if that works. I didn't actually check it. I will. Okay. So does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, then just put something in the organizer and we will chat. Okay, you can figure this one out. You can do that one. And you can you can do this one. Wait, you want me to do this one? I just talked about it. I better do this one because I just talked about it and I got it wrong. So negative 11 is our first term. And then we want to do when the, we want to uh, look at the increase. So it's what are we doing? We're adding how much? We're adding eight. I get it. Eleven to three is eight, right? So we're adding eight, but we got to do that n minus one thing. So it's eight n minus eight. So what's that? Negative nineteen. Eight n minus nineteen. Let's give it a try. 8n minus 19. See, I got it now. All right. Geometric. Same thing, only uh, this one. We can leave it. I think it'll be all right. So, so we know we're going to do 24 over 12 because geometric we're dividing, and that would be 2. And so our first term is 12. We're multiplying it by 2. And then I'm going to put an exponent, n minus 1. Come on now. n minus 1. And that is how you do that. So those are all sequences, but then we know sequences when you get to series won't be so bad. Now we gotta do word problems. So let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> Alex earns a $35,000 salary in the first year of his career. All right. Each year he gets a 3% raise, which expression gives the total amount Alex has earned over the first N years of his career. All right, now, this is about, let's look and see what this is about. This is about series, and this is a series formula, which Mr. Field has forgotten. So let's see, we could look it up, or we could just look at that. So let's just look at that. 
Oh my goodness, I got it right. But we know that doesn't count. Okay, so the formula is write it down. Let's all write this down. And maybe I should do some retrieval so that I don't forget it. Okay, so our formula is S, the sum equals A, the initial of A is the first term times one minus R to the N over, see now I remember it. Okay. So I could look that up, but I thought it would be more fun just to look at the hints because that's what I want to encourage you to do as well. I'm sure that you're doing that. So this is our formula. And if we look at the first answer, uh, we got the initial value and then we got one minus our 1.03 to the N over, and then one minus, so, so where did that 1.03 come from? Well, if it's a 3% raise, then the, the growth factor would be 1.03, and that is our R value. And then on the bottom, one minus 1.03 would be, it's not so, so uh, super easy, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, G of three, so G of one is negative five, G of two is three, and G of N is G times, so what does this mean? This means not the, not the term before it, but the term two terms before it. So that would be negative five for G of three. I should say not for anything, but for a G of three, it would be negative five, two terms before it, plus one term before it is three, and that's negative two. That was a fun one, nice and simple. Rosie went on a hiking trip. The first day she walked 18 kil kilometers, we know that's important, first term. Each day since she walked 90% or 0.9, right? Uh, what she walked the day before. What is Rosie's total distance traveled by the end of the 10th day. Okay, so we're gonna have to do our formula again. So we wanna know the total distance she's traveled, not just the distance she traveled on the 10th day, but the total distance. At least that's what I believe in my reading of the question. So we're gonna do one minus 0 0.9 to the 10th over one minus 0 0.9. And that will give us 18 times, I'm gonna need Desmos for this because I left my graphing calculator back in Maryland. Okay, graphing calculator. Do you use Desmos? Isn't it great? One minus 0.9 to the 10th is 0.65. And then, so what, why don't we just, why don't we just divide it? And hey, why don't we put uh, 18 in front? So I'll just do the whole thing. And then that one minus 0.9 is 0.1, right? So 117.23, and do I get to round? Round to the nearest kilometer. So what was that? 117. See, I got it now. It's so good to just say I got it now, you know? And that was simple, I did that one. Okay, was the total distance? Okay, so you do that one. And we are done. Not a terribly difficult one, but you will be glad that you reviewed these sorts of things before moving into series and pre-calc. And have a great time. Bye.